Well, I'm back with the second part of my casual playthrough. Uh, we did uh, uh, Farling Shrine, most of Farling Shrine and uh, Undead Asylum last episode. Now we're gonna do the Undead Bug. So you wanna head up this way, up the stairs. Since we still have only a dog, we try to fish for backstabs. Uh, <coughs> See the 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 dagger does little damage only in critical hits. Has decent damage. Um. <coughs> we I use the uh, sorceries to kill this guy because if you get too close to him, uh, the guy throwing fire bombs up there may hit you. So gonna kill this guy first with the axe then I'm gonna attack the guy throwing fire bombs the soldier throwing fire bombs okay one more enemy up the stairs <coughs> just I prefer to fight him down here than to try to climb the stairs in fact fight him on the stairs because you might fall Uh, two items we need we can grab uh, So and then we have to jump to that sort of a bridge there to get that item So just get a running start and jump Hmm, I have to be careful not to fall uh, Actually, I'm doing commentary after recording I'll try for the next videos to do it simultane simultaneously or simultaneously, don't know. Uh, <coughs> because uh, it's just a, a pain to sync audio. So I missed that jump. I'm gonna come back and show and do it again. Show you how to do it. Uh, even though I'm describing how to, to play the game, uh, this is not intended as walkthrough or complete playthrough. It's just a casual playthrough. Dark Souls is one of my favorite games. I really love the series. I have played it sometimes. Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3. Uh, I played Demon Souls a little bit. Uh, I haven't played Sekiro. Uh, <coughs> even though the game is old. So I'm just uh, going to kill all the enemies again and then grab my souls back. Uh, just using sorceries to make it fast. <coughs> uh, two more. Now we'll kill the last one on the stairs. Now I'm gonna do the jump again. Yeah, nice. Careful not to fall. <coughs> Grab the souls, like 500 souls or something like that. Not very much. And to jump, you just, just need to get a running start and then jump. Easy. So, uh, continue to go this way. Um, <coughs> it's interesting that there's another item there. I think it's a soul item. Uh... Interesting because inside this uh, sewer here, sewer area here, there is a rat. Uh, very rarely the rat attack you, attacks you. He usually faces this fence. Uh, if you come all the way to the other side, there is a gate that's locked. This is a shortcut. We'll unlock later. Uh, and we arrive at the undead bird. Take care of these enemies, I'll take care of these enemies, just fishing for backstabs. Actually, uh, I want to use a longsword, uh, but uh, some of these guys, the armored ones, can drop a longsword. Uh, if I don't drop one, uh, I'll buy one from the blacksmith, the first blacksmith, Andre of Astora. He sells it. I got hit there uh, because of the lock-on. 
but it's pretty straightforward. Backstab for the win. This fog gate. It's fine, there's no boss behind it. I uh, forgot an item. I'll come back later to, to grab it. Just now, now I saw it. Now we see the Drake. <coughs> there he goes. Now uh, I miss spells like one, twice, twice. I missed twice. The third time. Then I was done with spells <laughs> and decided to use my dagger. Um, some enemies around here, but I don't really bother much with the archer as long as you're moving and you hear the sound cues. So he makes a sound when he's firing his crossbow. Uh, you can just keep moving and he won't hit you. Also, when once you're you are back backstabbing or reposting, you have some invincibility flames, so it's fine. <coughs> See how, how little damage the dagger does. <coughs> I remember when I, I played Dark Souls I did not know that some weapons had very good critical, like the dagger. It's like In Dark Souls 3 you see all the time on PvP people just uh, have a weapon and they, and they pair you and then they pull out a dagger and then they <laughs> do crazy amounts of damage. <laughs> Almost killing you using that that ring. They can increase his physical, increase his critical hits. Very interesting. Uh, these guys killed one with spells. The second one I just decided to fish for backstabs. Pretty easy to deal with them. <laughs> you can also kick their shields. Hmm. There's a. Uh, Enemy behind some shelves. Is that how you say shelves? Um, backstab him. And now we finally meet the undead merchant. It's interesting because if you don't buy anything from him, he curses you. Uh, I don't know if he curses you, but he, he, he he's not very friendly. I'm gonna buy the residence key because I don't remember. First I'm gonna buy the heater shield. It's a very good shield. I use it for like half the game. It's a hundred percent block. It's very light, very good shield. Uh, I think I bought the residence key because I don't remember if the master key opens the key, the 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 locks Thank you, open with the residence key. Yes, I'm gonna pop an so item. This so item, just to buy the residence key, which is like a thousand. I don't care much. It's not so expensive. So I see no no problem in in buying it. <coughs> oh, thank you very much. Come back soon. <laughs> ah, one thing I have to correct, maybe for next uh, next part, uh, I forgot to lower the the music from the from inside the game. So I think sometimes my voice gets a little bit uh, low. Sound of my voice gets a little bit low compared to the to the game music, especially in boss battles. But usually it's fine. These guys, you just don't want to to get them like to to lure like a lot of them. They, they crowd on you. Uh, just kill one at a, at a time. Uh, you can use spells, no problem. They're not hard. And even if they start their combos, you can just block the first one, the first uh, hit with the shield and they, they will stop the combo. Here we have an item and we have a jump we can make down there. You see that wooden platform? If we jump there, uh, we have to jump there. So running start, jump. Um, I don't remember what's there. It's an item, but I don't remember what item. Uh, yeah, the cross light crossbow. I won't be using that. <laughs> can drop here, <coughs> and then we could go this way. We ignored earlier. Um, another item. <coughs> uh, 
Yeah, I was just checking if I had picked the master key. So I just messed up the spot, but you can like attack this guy and he will drop. And you will do with only one of them. Backstab. <coughs> Sorry for the cough, but uh, I'm a bit I'm a bit sick. Mm. These guys, you can attack this first, this two here, this first two enemies, and then makes it easier. <coughs> so after we're done with the enemies, we get amazing rubbish. All that for rubbish. <laughs> but actually, rubbish is an item we can trade on that nest. Uh, that crow's nest. I forgot the name of the crow. I think it's it's ugly or something like that. Don't remember the name of the the crow. It has a name. There's an enemy there. I don't I don't even know where he, he comes from. All right. So I think I'm going back to the bonfire. I missed that item again. Now, probably gonna rest at the bonfire. Yes, rest at it. <coughs> mm. Yeah, I'm gonna use the soul items. Level up a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna use two humanity to kindle at this bonfire. I should actually just have used one, maybe. Ah, uh, didn't even need to kindle, but this bonfire is useful. I'm gonna still be using it for the next level, or for the next part of the level. So it's a useful bonfire. There are shortcuts around it. Uh, so it's not a waste to kindle with it. So level up. I like to level vitality and endurance a little bit in the beginning, even though I'm playing as a mage. Because um, <coughs> I don't like to, to have very low HP, very low stamina. To me, stamina is one of the most important stats aspects of the gameplay. Because it affects how many attacks you can do, how much you can block with a shield. Just need to be careful with these fire bombs. Just go straight ahead running. I don't think you you even need to run, but with these guys, you just wait for them to attack and then you backstab them. I think I was hit, yeah, because a third one will come. But just backstab them, no problem. Not hard. Well, there goes one. And then the second one. This guy actually has a, ch a chance to drop the long sword I want, but he probably won't. Probably will have to buy it from the blacksmith. Mm. If we enter to to the right on this in this house, there's an enemy here. Kill him. There's another enemy. Just. Just around the corner here. Now he's been dealt dealt with. And there's a chest. I don't remember what's in this chest. Um, black fire bomb. <coughs> now I'm gonna go up the stairs. There are th three guys here, but actually the middle one, that the one that's walking, he is going to throw and fire bomb so usually it's useful to kill him first the other two are melee they, they need to be within melee range to harm you we have the guys that would throw in fire bombs 
I killed two with spells. Two, and then I killed the third. But you can kill them however you want. You just want to avoid a lot of fire bombs um, flying around, hitting me. So I prefer to dispatch two of them using uh, using spells. But this game is not that hard once you understand the mechanics and know the levels kill this for example kill this archer first um, <coughs> if you already know he's here can prevent you a headache later because once you're fighting the guys down there he will be shooting arrows at you so, uh, can snipe these guys with spells from here from the distance so the first one, the first hit is like a free hit because they are not with their shields up. Very, but these enemies are not really difficult. Um, yeah, message to go left. There's an item. He is very useful item to fight the boss. That's going to come next. Gold pine resin, very good item. <coughs> Yeah, missed another cast there. I'm gonna fish for backstabs. Nope. No, he's dead. There's a barrel of that will come down if you go up this stair, so you wait for it, then you just run back. And then here comes the the guy that rolled the barrel on you, that kicked the barrel. The uh, imminent sorrow. Yes, there's a black knight there, as you can see. I will kill him a little bit later because I, I want to fight the boss first. Uh, this black knight will not respawn if you kill him. <coughs> if I get lucky, I might might drop one of his weapons, but I won't be using them on this playthrough. So. Makes not much of a difference. Mm. If I go up here, there's actually a secret in here. Uh, once you reach the fog gate, this barrel on the right contains a crystal lizard. I think they're called crystal lizards. Uh, well, it takes too long to kill him with the dagger. I don't like the dagger. So after this forgets the boss, so I'm gonna equip the Gold Pine Resin. You'll see that it's very good to kill this boss quick. Uh, there are two guys up here. They will shoot arrows at you if you don't kill them. So you have the boss and then two archers. Two bolts, uh, not, maybe not arrows, bolts, but uh, basically the same thing. <laughs> So you have two archers shooting at you. If you don't kill them beforehand, they are very annoying. Now to the boss, the Taurus Demon. <coughs> I'm just gonna spawn spells and then I'm gonna infuse my weapon with uh, good pine resin. Just gonna shoot spells at this guy. Actually, I was hit a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just continue to spam spells. <coughs> yeah, cut him down to up his health. Whoa! Was hit hard. No worries, heal. No, I'm, I think I'll. Yeah, I was lashing with the good fine resin. Look at how much damage I did. Much more than the spells, and you saw that how shitty the dagger was. Was like doing 16. So with one combo, I did like 450. So it's, but any build can kill this guy easily with a good fine resin. Even only one good pine resin is probably enough to take him down. <coughs> uh, 
Okay, there's an item here. Secret item. Just a soul item. And we will find the best NPC in the game. Praise the sun, soul air. Let's see what he has to say. Let's hear. Talk to him again. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. <coughs> Just say yes. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined in a land brimming with hollows. Could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Yeah, I say yes to jolly cooperation. <laughs> it pleases me greatly. Well then, take care. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time is <coughs> convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this. But I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> <coughs> oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Now we don't talk into Solaire. Don't attack him. Don't 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 believe this message. Uh, I was just checking my my equip load. You feel like below twenty? I like to be below twenty five percent for this part. If you are below twenty five percent, like uh, I'm, I have like ten point five out of fifty. So uh, you just run as fast as you can. Just run. If you have below twenty five percent, you have the one of the faster running speeds, so you make it to this point just in time to take a little damage. Uh, and the fire was the Drake we saw earlier, so we have a shortcut here and uh, drop down, go down the ladder. Gonna rest at the bonfire and level up. <coughs> So, <coughs> I have like five points. Let's put two, two, and one in intelligence. <coughs> yeah, I think now we're gonna kill that Black Knight. We missed. Uh, let's see. Oh, he hit me. <laughs> oh, trying to heal? No. He's dead. Just pretty much going back to the Black Knight. Yep, much better. Backstab. Then backstab again. Oh, and one guy followed. <laughs> Spells. Ooh, change. Focus. The lock on target. Backstab. Oh, what he, did he drop? Titanite shard. Yeah. I'd prefer he, I'd prefer he had dropped uh, his sword, but Titanite shard is a fine item. I'll need it to upgrade the sword. I'll buy later and the shield. Kill this guy again. I'm killing these guys because in case I need more space to fight the Black Knight, maybe 
he will force me to come down here and uh, I don't wanna be fleeing from enemies or having enemies all around the place following me or hitting me or blocking my way that's why I'm killing all the enemies and also it's a good farm for souls farming some souls kill these guys I just won't be killing the guys on top, the top of the roof. Oh, battle axe. I don't remember if I had ever dropped a battle axe <laughs> there before. Alright, the archer is dead. Oh, kill these guys again. Yep, trying to heal. And he healed. Yeah, dead. He didn't drop anything. I would like a sword, please. <coughs> There's the guy at top of the ladder. Uh, no, he's dead. No sword either. Now the Black Knight. I'm just gonna spawn him with spells and backstabs. They are very easy to backstab. Um, <coughs> just heal, just to have to be a full HP, just to be sure, be safe. Don't do a lot of damage with spells, but just spam them. It will add up. <coughs> Missing them <laughs> if you don't miss them. All right. Yeah, about half half his health is gone now. Yeah, I'll try to backstab him. Very easy to backstab. You can like just chain backstab. I oh, failed. Yes. Six nine damage. It's low but not so bad. And then I did again. Backstab again. Yeah, that's you can just chain backstab them. They are easy to kill. They are not very hard. But just don't try to to fight them head on and block the the attacks with your shield. They'll destroy you, kill you. And I think this Black Knight with the the great sword or the is a great sword, but it's actually a Black Knight sword. I dropped his, his shield, but it's the easiest one to kill. They're not very hard, just backstab them, chain backstab them. Um, now I'm gonna rest at the bonfire. Level up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> start to put more points into intelligence. Since we will be... Since we intend to increase it. It's a mage build after all. So I'm gonna end this playthrough here. Thank you.